Hi, I'm Rob Cos and welcome to my shop. I want to introduce you to a new saw we just came out with. It's a medium tenon saw. Now, if you hadn't seen the most current issue of Fine Woodwork Magazine, current, I mean August of 2015, they did a review on tenon saws. They reviewed 15 in total. There were three categories, crosscut, hybrid, and a rip. And I'm very happy to say that, look at that, best overall. Well, let me tell you a little bit about it. That saw that was submitted was my regular tenon that we've had it available for sale now for probably seven or eight years. It has a depth of cut two and three quarter inches. The blade is 12 inches long. The blade itself is 25 thousandths of an inch thick. The tooth count, I have the little teeth up here at 20 teeth per inch, two inches, that's to help you get it started. And then the balance of the teeth are 12 teeth per inch for a heavier cut and with a 2,000 set per side. So it makes a nice thin kerf. But here's the problem. For a lot of guys, it's just a little bit too big. Now, if you need the capacity, well, then you have to go with a bigger saw. However, I also realize that a lot of times if you're building furniture, the tenons you're going to be building are not going to be that deep. So we decided to make what we call a medium tenon saw. And just to kind of give you a perspective of the size difference, there's the tenon saw on the back, the medium tenon saw, and there's my dovetail saw. Now, characteristics of this saw, well, you have a depth of cut that's two inches. The blade is 11 inches long. Same 25 thou thick steel. It's just they have a little beefier cut. The brass back is uh, 15 sixteenths as opposed to one inch wide by quarter of an inch. We have 22 teeth per inch at the starter strip, followed by the same tooth count, 12 teeth per inch, your main cutting. So there's two things you've got to be able to do with a with the tenon saw. One is you've got to be able to start it accurately, and the other is the saw needs to cut perfectly straight. And by that I mean not wobble at all, follow a path or track, as we like to say. Well, with the little teeth on the back, it enables you to go in, get the cut started, follow up with the big teeth, which is where you get your speed, simply because you've got a deeper gullet, which allows for more clearing of the sawdust as the tooth cuts. And what you want is a nice, straight cut. And I'll show you what I mean by straight. Look at this side, it's a little bit cleaner. There's oil on the saw, but the cut itself has to be nice and straight. So if we had to put a straight edge up against that, no wandering one side or the other, a nice straight cut. That's your best bet, being able to get a cut that will go into a, a, tendon, more, a tendon that will go into a mortise without having to be addressed after the fact. It's a, it's a heavy saw, but I do that on purpose so that it'll actually train you where perpendicular is. That's why we use a pistol grip so that you pick up or it registers in your hand the same way every time you pick it up. And with a little bit of practice, you'll actually be able to make plumb cuts by feel alone. So that's the medium tenon. Good time to be buying Canadian saws if you're in the U.S. because of the exchange rate between the dollars. Anyway, you can check my website, Rob Cos robcosman.com. We'll have it listed up there in the next week or so. And if you're interested, we'll make one up and send it your way. See ya.